dynamic, it's a great place to be, it's fun, it's a very high achieving sixth form. Students are doing very well, they're moving on to really good universities, world class courses, competitive worldwide as well as competitive within our own country. It's really exciting, it's been a joy to be part of. The sixth form is a challenging, dynamic and forward thinking establishment that ultimately aims to give every student every opportunity they can when they leave the sixth form. It's the whole concept of treating you more as an adult. When you go to university, you're not going to have a teacher you know, bearing down the whole time, telling you to do, do your homework and stuff. It's more independent. That's the way that the teachers sort of look at us as more adults, and they try to get us to have the motivation to do the work. You need to do the reading around this subject. You need to do some further studying at home, and you'll just do it because the teachers, you know, they tell you that it's working for yourself. I think it's nice to strike a balance uh, between both being, having quite a professional atmosphere where the students can learn, uh, but also um, a kind of comfortable learning environment where the students feel uh, happy to share their opinions, to also ask questions if they don't understand things. Well, at first I found the idea just really daunting and it seemed like such a big jump, but it's not as scary as it seems, <laughs> as long as you're open to new beginnings. Be more independent and mature, I think. You get treated differently by teachers. This is a lot more of like a friendly environment because you've chosen their subjects and they'll help you if you've got any questions. More and more our students are achieving places in the most prestigious universities. Not to say they all go to university, but the vast majority do, and increasingly to the better reputed universities, to some of the most competitive courses that there are, both in the UK and beyond. There's two introductory days that we have at the start, which kind of just guide us through, get us to know everyone, and that really helped because then obviously there's a few familiar faces in your classes. I really enjoyed my old school that I was at, and it was sort of like a family atmosphere, and I think you really have that here as well. It's been really good easily the best school I've ever been to. Like already I've been offered uh, to go to GlaxoSmithKline as a work experience placement. So they're always thinking about how the, the subjects that you study and how they can get you into further opportunities, further education and, and your career. I belong to the Excelsior group. So we regularly meet up, talk about kind of what we want to do at university and then they do trips like Cambridge and Oxford. At the end of year 12 I'm hoping to go to Cambodia for two weeks with the school, build the traditional houses and like help out in the schools and stuff. Well I go to this biology club which is where we discuss ethics and science in the news and things like that and I also do, uh, for enrichment I do languages which is where I go and teach primary school children different languages. I know I want to go to university but I'm not going to go as soon as I come out of doing my A-levels. I want to do a gap year over in America. It's all, the, it's all these little things that we do outside, all of these things that accumulate to make you grow up and make you take on new opportunities and sort of seize more opportunities. You want to, you want to do everything because everything's just so exciting and new and yeah I've absolutely loved every day of it it's been great it's a different experience so every day is a new day if we keep the students happy they'll succeed so it works both ways obviously the happier they are if we are an environment whereby they feel comfortable they feel safe they feel secure in their, their learning environment then they will succeed uh, and therefore we get high academic achievement through outstanding teaching and learning but also close support, monitoring of their progress and them knowing that they, there are people around for them that, that care about them and want them to succeed. It's good that we are given the opportunity to do our best so I think it's good that they are, they do push you to, your, to achieve what you can. I think it's reassuring because then you think well if it's a high achieving school you do have a better chance of achieving more. The enrichment stuff that we do is really good and I don't think because I've joined D of E and I don't think that I would have really been able to do that if it hadn't been offered and I think the idea of enrichment is really good. So Duke of Edinburgh, Arts Award, Young Enterprise, Extended Project, there's a whole portfolio of different opportunities that students take up in addition to their four AS levels. after the year sevens and the lower years and it's just someone to go to and talk to if 
they need it. And I think they think it's quite good because it's an older student and they feel almost safe with us, maybe. Because they're talking, and it's not like a teacher, it's more informal. So I think they find it quite good. I was hoping Cardiff, I've had a look around places like Cardiff or even Cambridge or Edinburgh, things like that, have really high architecture courses around. If I um, don't manage to get into Oxford, I'm thinking about going to the London School of Economics. It makes me really proud that I'm going to be part of something really good. There's such a great feeling of community that everyone really comes together. It just makes you feel really proud to say you're part of Hearts in Essex. For us students to have the highest possible aspirations is absolutely key and fundamental to all that we do at Hearts in Essex. It really is in a supportive and positive and nurturing way. The outstanding teaching and learning, the drive, the challenge, the push that you will get to succeed and the fact that you are a person here and you will be treated as a, as a young adult with freedom to have a voice and freedom to develop independent skills but knowing that you will be closely supported in everything you do.